Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. There's Can Candace. Stand up for this? She wasn't ready. <laughs> Wait, you're standing up. For... I want to take pictures. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. I'm like, oh man, what do I do? <laughs> Your hair looks good. I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> um, tying up some loose ends. I had, I did have to get the, some packages out from yesterday. Uh, two of them. Because I had to get boxes for them. And then I came in here and I uh, took some quick photos of this. I think I have a deal already cut to sell these. Uh, somebody reached out to me. Said they were interested. So hopefully that goes through. Because then I won't have to deal with them other than just packing them up. Um, we had a pretty decent sales day today. Also, going to be doing things a little bit different on the channel here. I'm going to try something out. Might go or am going to try out every other day uploading for a while. See how see how that goes. Going to shoot footage pretty much every day still. Just going to maybe make videos a little longer. Might be combinations of two days or whatever. So uh, we'll see how that goes. We do have, we had a decent sales day yesterday. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull that now. All right, 8 Charlie, we sold a NECA figure. Predator, I think it was. Ah, it's right here. Here we go. Lost Predator from Predator 2. This sold for $40.49. Tiger drawer, we sold a couple of egg cups. These little things here. These sold for $19.99 plus ship. Pull this down. This is a little plate, replacement plate. These plates have done so good. Just telling Candace every now and then we'll just sell one of these. Didn't pay much for them. $9.99 plus shipping for that. And basically nothing for that. What, five bucks, I think, for the. For whole the lot, yeah. yeah. Okay. And they, I mean, they don't take up a lot of space. No, I mean, I wouldn't want to be strictly de uh, selling plates because. Like even if we filled this whole shed up at the rate they sell, we wouldn't have a lot of sales. But these plates are pretty good. Three Bravo. This is a Candace pick. Right here. She spotted this this past weekend. Ended up being a really good find. Uh, she paid a dollar for it. And sold this for $39.99 plus ship. CC5 sold some, uh, some kind of Godzilla looking guy. Uh, right here are not a Godzilla looking guy Godzilla Wars Batra a lot of two Batra whatever the heck that is these things with these colorful wings $19.99 plus ship for those chest drawer we sold a ticket yeah 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 that's it that's it boss it's under, that's the ticket it's under Mr. Hyde <laughs> come on you and you interrupted my performance sorry <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. All right. <laughs> there, I finished. Uh, California Angels versus Blue Jays. A Nolan Ryan ticket stub. Uh, he pitched this game, apparently. $19.99 plus shipping for that. Are you proud of me? I knew that. How did you know that? Google. <laughs> Wait, you, so you looked up that particular game? Yeah, you always look up the games because if it was an important game, that ticket's going to be worth more money. Or if somebody good played that it. Is, that's impressive. So you looked that ticket up and found out who the starting pitcher was? Yeah. Wow. I don't think... I wouldn't have thought to do that. They, they also... Is that, the, is that that ticket or the other one won the World Series that year? I think it was them. I think it was them. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm going to be ready. Who are you? I'm going to be ready for trivia next time we play. You change... <laughs> You changed your hair color, and now you all of a sudden you like baseball. I hate baseball. <laughs> By the way, I hate it. <laughs> all right, five Bravo. We sold a game, NES game called The Last Ninja. I think this might have been the best of these games that I listed yesterday. Here we go. This little guy sold for uh, $25.99. Actually, that might have been a game or two little higher price than that, but that was definitely one of the better ones. A six Charlie we sold a model of a tank. Where is it? Ah, here we go. It's this little guy here. Churchill Mark 7. This sold for $9.99 plus ship. MU8 sold a Captain Crunch rock poster series. The Romantics. Who I think sang. 
talking in your sleep song. Right, Candace? I never did. I didn't look it up. I hear the secrets that, that you keep. keep. You know that one? Isn't that them, the romantics? This sold for $14.99. I'm going to double check that real quick. Okay, so yeah, they sang uh, Talking in Your Sleep, and probably a bigger hit was What I Like About You. Look at that. Uh, what? <laughs> they were like being ironic, right? Oh, Don't you think? They're romantic guys in their red suits. No, that that's like, they're being ironic there, I believe. This is the picture on the poster of that uh, cereal premium. Oh, uh, okay. Look at that hair. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 10 Charlie sold the Snap Circuit Skill Builder. 125 projects. These are fun for kids. Uh, or for adults, maybe, too. You keep buying them. I know. I love buying these for some reason. <laughs> They're not even worth that much money, but I just still buy them. $14.99 plus shipping on top for this. Uh, I think we paid a couple of dollars for this this past weekend. I'm not sure. All right. 3 Alpha. We sold some of one of these. This is a the 64 mini i actually have one of these myself in the computer room and uh yeah they're pretty cool they have a bunch of games on them and then you can also uh you can also put an sd card with more games so you can put whatever you want in there or you can attach a keyboard like this has a little keyboard on it but the keys don't actually work it's just for show but you can plug a keyboard into it so these are actually pretty cool this sold for $39.99. 10 Charlie sold a Dreamcast game or disc, what you call it. Um, a demo disc or something. Let's see. Here we go. This little uh, disc here. Dreamcast generator. It's got like uh, demos of different games for Dreamcast. Uh, $7.99 plus ship for that. Goes with that. And that is everything that is going out for today. Good morning, everyone. It is day number two of this video. It is Friday. Morning, Candace. Good morning. We went to how many garage sales we go to this morning? Seven. And how many things we buy? One for three dollars. We'll, we'll show y'all tomorrow. It, it's not exciting we though. We spent more in gas than we did on purchases. Oh yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, it was nothing. <laughs> quick though we weren't out long no we were out of, like maybe two hours not no an hour and a half okay but yeah. I, I mean it was i don't know after the, like the third sale i was like okay it's gonna be one of those days yeah, a lot of baby toys and baby clothes yeah it's just and overpriced stuff yeah that's that's where you really get tested not when there's good stuff to buy everywhere but when there's a bunch of bad stuff or mediocre stuff and you're like well i gotta buy something and then you force yourself to buy crap. I trust me, I've done that so many times. Um, yeah, like we saw some really good Dungeons and Dragons expansion sets and stuff, but she had a mark for like twenty bucks. Yeah, they were just too high. Yeah. I made an offer on them, you know. She she wasn't biting, so. But uh, yeah. I mean, that's the test, though. Sometimes when you do this thing, like when you go out to garage sales or wherever else you source, uh, having the discipline to not buy sometimes is. Uh, just as important as buying stuff. Yep. So hopefully we'll, we'll show you the one thing we bought, I guess, with uh, all the other great stuff we buy tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. There is a ton of sales tomorrow, so we're going to really be hoofing it and we're going to be, we're going to hit a lot of sales tomorrow. So we should buy some things. Yeah, hopefully. Ho yeah. I, you know, I you can't force, you cannot force finds at garage sales i mean you could go there you could show up you have to show up and you have to go out and look but if the stuff ain't there it just ain't there and like it might be there tomorrow it might not it might be it might not be there next weekend and then the big score might happen the weekend after that we might get ten thousand dollars worth of stuff. who knows but you can't force it if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen um we got pretty good sales Pretty good yeah, sales. We had a good night last night for sales. And we've had a decent morning this morning too. Yeah. So uh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the next round of orders. Chest drawer, we sold a belt buckle. This belt buckle right here. $29.99 plus shipping for this Batman Arkham City buckle. MU8 
sold a Game Shark cartridge only for the N64. That sold for $15.99 plus ship. Small's drawer sold a Nintendo DSi XL demo video cartridge. It basically just plays. Ooh, not for resale. I better not. I better cancel that. <laughs> but no, it just plays like little video demos of all the uh, games from back then. One Echo sold a board game. Thought about keeping it. Ah, here it is right here. This U.S. Space Program Monopoly sold for $29.99 plus ship. And, oh, 6F over here. Sold some uh, white shoe polish. Is there really white shoe polish down here? Oh, there it is. It's right in front of my face. Here we go. All right, these four bottles of shoe polish sold for $9.99 plus ship. One Delta, we sold some boots. Here they are behind all the pairs. These are some motorcycle boots. I think, I think these were $5 at a garage sale, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, those sold for 40, how much? $44.99 plus ship. Have an order with two NES games on it. The Immortal and Battle Chess. I remember playing Battle Chess on several different computers back in the day. Which, I don't know, even back then, I mean, Battle Chess was kind of cool. They would have these animations. Uh, when, Like when you would capture a piece, they would have like this whole fight scene play out. And it was cool at first, but after a while, it's like, okay, I get it. <laughs> it just ended up making the game take longer and it was kind of quirky, in my opinion. But uh, it was a popular, popular game back in the day. Those two both on one order. Okay, 10 Alpha. I guess it's in this box. Here we go. We've got some plush, a couple of plush horses in here. That uh, can of Those were like a buck a piece, right? Buck a piece at a garage sale. Uh, $29.99 for the pair. CC11, who sold some kiss stuff here we go two vhs tape the second coming two vhs tape uh will set for 8.99 plus ship went ahead and pulled this cosmetic uh, sold for 950 free ship from three bravo back here we sold uh, frank sinatra reel to reel or reel i should say uh, for $19.99 plus ship. Pulled this starting lineup just now. Uh, Emmett Smith, he sold for $7.99 plus ship. And for five Bravo, we sold a couple more NES games. Two different orders here. Uh, we sold a golf game. Ah, this one right here. NES Open sold. And then we also sold these guys over here we also sold this punch out game not Mike Tyson's but the other one okay from the cube we sold a ticket stub of some sort make sure yeah okay good it's this right here st. Louis Cardinals it's got a little envelope and then it's got two used ticket stubs these sold for $14.99 plus ship all right got all those packed that's all the orders y'all just saw get pulled and then i have one more uh thing i need to pack i actually sold if you watched the video last video or video before um actually sold all of these nes games uh to a viewer that I actually met at uh the reseller rally in cincinnati last year uh ben so Ben and I struck a deal for the remainder of these NES games that I think was uh, mutually beneficial for both of us. I think he got a pretty good deal, and I get rid of them, and I get some cash. So thanks a bunch, Ben. 
And this is how I'm packing these games, by the way. I'm using these boxes inside of this box. I'm hoping, might be a little, little bit of a squeeze, but I'm hoping to get this last box in there. And I'm just stacking them like so. Putting a sheet. And then four more games like that, and then a sheet, and then we'll come back in just a minute. I think I, yeah, I think I can fit all of my games that I have left in this box. Yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Fold this down. Put one more layer down. Then I'll put a la one layer, one piece of bubble over the top, close her up. It is a little bit of a squeeze. Almost had to go break out the box lube. <clears throat> it's in there though. And they're all like double boxed and bubbled and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's the package is coming to you, Ben. What you got, Candace? Why don't you tell them what you're doing? Okay, so these are um, like Catholic, I'm assuming bracelet charms because they're little. They're thin. And they're light. They're light. They have Mary on them. Most of them are this one right here. If I can see. And there's a, there's like. Why don't you take a couple of pictures and I'll insert them in the video yeah, later. There's a couple of different, there's two other different styles. Okay. So anyway, I, I decided to test them just to be sure. Um, so our test kit, one thing you do is you drop the 10 carat on the, um, on the thing itself. And if it changes colors, that, that's a base metal test. If it changes colors, then that's one of these base metals. Brass, it would turn dark brown, copper brown, nickel, it would turn blue, so on and so forth. So it passed that test. So then I did the scratch test. Um, I just took one of them and just scratched the stone. Why don't you show them? Okay. Use the one that we cut. We actually will talk, talk about more about that yeah. in a second, but so, why don't you use the cut as a matter of fact, like try and scratch the cut into it. Okay. We actually cut one in half. Okay. So let me explain. Yeah. When I first did it, um, it, so when you, you scratch the metal on this plate and then you drop your acid on there, starting at the lowest. So my lowest is 10 carat. I dropped it on there and the line disappears. So that means it's 10 carat or lower in gold. It's, so, yeah, it's lower than 10 carat, yeah. right? So, um, so I, I did that on just like an outside, you know, of it. So then I said, well, let me cut it open and see if, if it's solid or, um, so when I cut it open, it definitely is the same color inside. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, uh, I think, I think it's coming in. Um, and so then I did a scratch test of the inside and it disappeared again. So the inside looks exactly like the outside as yes. far as the color yeah. of the metal. Uh, also, also they're not magnetic, right? So you're doing a line right here. I just did that right there. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Yep. There's like a gold line. And now with the 10 carat acid. Now I'm assuming I'm doing this right. I've never done it. It kind of makes a drop. And I, what I did, and I don't know if I'm supposed to, I took and spread it around just gently with the tip. Wait, stop. Let's see. I agree. It's the line is disappearing under the drop, yeah. which should mean that it is not ten carat. And if it's not ten carat, it's probably not gold. Yeah. But what the heck is it? Right. So I think we're gonna take them to a guy. We yeah. We have another coin anyway that we we need to bring in and yeah get it um, appraised or or maybe sell it to him. Yeah. So we'll bring these along too and get him to test them and see what he thinks. Um, you want to do that today? Yeah, hopefully they're gold. Let's let's do it today. Let's bring him in and see what he says. Okay. I'm gonna put these halves in a second. Let's see what he says. I've actually sold a few things to this guy a long time ago in the past. Yeah. I, don't, I wonder what kind of metal that is because it's solid, solid this color through and through. Yeah. We'll bring him in. He'll probably laugh at him. I mean, you know, we'll tell him, hey, we're amateurs. We tried to test them. But no, don't, I don't even want to say that. that. I don't want to, no, because we might be doing something wrong. And I don't want to give him any information. Any inf I want him to figure out what it is on his. I mean, he knows what gold is because he buys gold. Yeah. So there is yeah. no 
point in us telling them what we did. So we're going to bring it in and uh, see what the gold guy says. So this is the coin we're going to get them to look at. This is a Chinese silver dollar. And it looks like it's probably like a mint condition inside of this case. 10 yuan. It's got a ram on the front. It's from 2015. Most of the coins from 2015 have like pandas on the on them but this one has a ram we were able to find a few comps that were like really high but on some of them they called it a goat yeah it was like they were like that's the year of the goat so i don't know so we're gonna let him take a look at this too hopefully he's there and if we get a decent enough offer on this stuff if this is gold we'll sell it to him if it's not, then we'll pro I guess we'll, I don't know. He's probably going to laugh at us. <laughs> we'll see. All right, we just got back from the uh, gold or coin shop or whatever you want to call it. And I'll let Candace deliver the big news. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, both of them fake or well, not the, fake, but these, these guys. They're not gold. Well, they're not. They if they are gold, they're like real minute. low. Yeah, he said, he said they tested for copper, which they're not copper, so he said they probably just have some gold mixed in with it. So, you know, whatever. We're, yeah. So we'll bundle these. And this tested for copper also. So yeah. that's probably just straight up counterfeit. I think so, yeah. Uh, because that it because it does have like a monetary amount on yeah, there. Yeah, I guess. I don't really know that much about coins, so don't like maybe they made it like this or we had so much trouble finding this thing that it makes me think that it's like a custom counterfeit type yeah. thing or something. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. So <laughs> but whatever. We struck out twice. And the 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 person, the lady there, she she wasn't testing the stuff, but she was like the the first one the first thing failed and she's like oh man i'm like yeah now well, maybe the coin's good and the guy's looking at the coin and then finally he's like scratches it on a stone test it and then then she comes back later she goes like we're about to leave she goes oh for two huh <laughs> and i'm like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> you had to rub it in lady <laughs> like, it's not like i don't know i wasn't that I wasn't we weren't that, expecting them to be anything. No, I wasn't that disappointed. We yeah. basically just went for a ride. We went and burned a little more gas today. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't make money. We spent money. No, we didn't. We So, out of our garage sale, garage selling this morning, and uh, then going back out to the coin shop for about, I don't know, half hour. We were gone for about a half, maybe about 35 minutes total, yeah. including driving in inside the store or whatever. Um, all we did was burn gas. And then on the way home, we did fill up with gas. Three, <laughs> $3.97. At least it wasn't over four. Yeah. Silver, that silver means. lining. Yeah. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, hope y'all do good at garage sales this weekend. We're going to go back out again and try tomorrow. The, the, but when the lady said, oh, oh, for two, eh? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm like, it's okay. I'm used to losing. <laughs> I told her that. So I'm used to losing. It's no big deal. We'll try again. <laughs> yep. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time, right? So yep. thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye. Thank y'all. Bye. -bye.